three penis exercises that improve your sex life. Nearly 65% of men over the age of 35 report of dealing with some type of erectile dysfunction at one time in their life or another. Also, many men suffer from low testosterone, or low, T, that contribute to lackluster results in the bedroom. But just like any other muscle, the penis can be trained to be stronger and perform better. A new review in the journal Urology found that strengthening a man's pelvic floor, the muscles that surround the base of your penis and form a shelf across the bottom of your pelvis, can help diminish erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. How so? When you get hard, your pelvic muscles keep blood in your shaft. This helps to enhance and maintain your rigidity, says urological surgeon Andrew Siegel, M.D., the study's author and creator of Pelvic Floor Exercise DVD Private Gym. And for premature ejaculators, squeezing those muscles can delay your orgasm. The stronger these muscles, the better the effect, Dr. Siegel says. In fact, in one study 75% of men improved erectile function after doing kegels. In another study, Italian researchers found that 61% of men were cured of premature ejaculation through rehabilitation of the pelvic floor muscles. So what are you waiting for? Here's the three exercises that can help you too. 1. Kegels. Kegel exercises increases blood flow to all areas of your body. It strengthens your pelvic floor, abdominal, hip and upper leg muscles. As well, it strengthens your lymphatic system to help remove toxins from your cells. This helps you feel less lethargic and have more energy for sex. Begin by squeezing the muscles you would use to stop the stream of urine and hold the contraction for 1 to 2 seconds. Concentrate on only using your pelvic muscles, and not your glutes, thigh, or hip muscles. Release. Repeat 30 times, resting 1 minute when you're finished. Perform 3 sets. 3 to 4 times a week. 2. Dot jelking, an ancient technique to help increase not only length but also weight, thickness and density for a proportionally enlarged member. Jelking forces blood into the penis forcing spaces to grow to hold more blood. In standard jelking, blood is forced into the penis shaft as you trap it in to expand the blood vessels using your hand. During the first few weeks using your forefinger and thumb to create an O. You grip your penis tightly at the base to milk your penis, similar to milking a cow, to force blood to the tip. Each motion from the base to the tip should last 3 seconds. Cover your penis in lubricant, never use soap. Keep a lubricant jar handy, you may constantly need to reapply. Squeeze the base of your penis shaft using your thumb and forefinger, pulling downward to the base. Stroke repeatedly, alternating hands each stroke lasting 3 seconds until your penis is semi-erect, not fully erect. Grip tightly at the base of your semi-erect penis using your left thumb and forefinger. Gently but firmly pull your penis from the base to the head while maintaining semi-erection, stretching it out downward. Each stroke must be from base to head. The head would swell as blood rushes to it. Switch to your right hand. Repeat the milking strokes. Again from base to head covering the entire penis except the topmost part of the head. 3. Brain exercises, yes, that's right, the brain. The mind is one of those things that you forget about when you think about the penis. No wonder they call the penis the little head. Blood rushes to it during arousal and it seems like blood rushes out of the brain, lol. But in all seriousness, using your mind to overcome erectile dysfunction can be key. Try to maintain an erection at home for the longest you can without touching yourself at all. With just using your mind, think of things that arouse you and practice for 10 minutes daily. Hopefully, you will see the connection between what arouses you and what turns you off. That way. You can use your brain power to turn and off your erection. So if you want to leave it on, just remember your exercises that kept you there. There is a link in the description box that might be helpful for you. If you like the video then don't forget to give a thumbs up and share this video. For more videos and updates please subscribe to our channel. Our channel.